Today we're talking about the straddle lift. So the straddle lift is going to be a combination of our squat and our deadlift. Some of you may have heard of it. Uh, it's not a super common exercise, but the idea is this exercise is going to help us stay deep in our hips and really get that full range of motion while staying back on our heels and not bringing our toes and our knees way out in front, which is gonna put a lot of stress, especially on like our patella tendon and things like that. So I'm gonna go on and demonstrate. So you can see I've got my kettlebell and I've got my two benches that are a little more than shoulder width apart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slowly come down and you'll see that I'm not gonna go into the knees first and I'm not going to hinge back into the hips first. I'm going to use both at the same time to lower myself down all the way down to the kettlebell. So the lift is coming up and then slowly coming all the way back down. So if we swing around to the side view here, one thing you'll notice is I'm not going to let my chest get out in front. So it's going to look like a squat and at the end, once we get deep, that's when we're going to get into our deadlift part. So I'm gonna go back, I'm in my squat, I'm staying back, my knees are bending. Then once I get here, I'm gonna let that back go on the lower. So when I'm lowering my back, I'm not grounding, but you'll see I start to hinge with my squat. So I'm coming down and then my hips really start to push back. So you can see at the bottom that my back is flat. I'm not grounding, I'm not hyperextended. I've got a flat back, but my knees are bent past 90 degrees. We can also see that they're not past my toes, so we're not hyperextending this way, creating a lot of stress on those knees. So we're staying right here, and we're coming back up. So once we come back around to the front, we can see that we do want to use something that we're holding with two hands. We don't ever want to do this one-handed. We never want to have anything on our back because this is going to allow me to stay very centered in my body. So you can see the weight is right on my center of gravity and it's going to stay that way the whole way through. So now I'm all the way down to my hips, my knees are as extended as they can be without being hyperextended out in front of my toes and I'm coming back up. So like I said, we do this, um, you know, it's a, it's a great exercise in general. But one of the reasons that we really do this is to help people that struggle to get good depth and, you know, they have a lot of movement issues in our squat and our deadlift. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If there's anything you'd like me to do specifically, let me know and have a great day.